can you sell your house with a lien on it? <laughs> right? The quick answer to this is yes, you can. But selling a house with a lien attached, all right, is a big issue. It can cause major problems and headaches for your sales process. All right, we're going to talk about this and more in this video. Hi, my name is Matt Walsh. I am both a realtor in Virginia Beach and I'm also a cash buyer with Academy Home Buyers based out of Virginia Beach and we buy houses all over the country. Okay, so we're going to first talk what is a lien on a house? A lien is a public record filed with the county records office, right? It puts the world on notice that somebody has laid claim to money that you owe them, right? So they're laying claim to your house. In, in this instance, they're laying claim to your house, okay? Because they are owed money by you and you haven't paid them, right? So they're laying claim to your property so that when you sell the property, they get paid. Okay, there are two basic types of liens. There are voluntary liens and involuntary liens. Okay, voluntary liens are things like your mortgage. You voluntarily put a lien on your house in exchange for the mortgage company to lend you money to buy your home. Uh, there are also other voluntary liens like solar liens. You get a loan to put solar panels on your roof and the solar company will put a lien on your home. So you can't just sell the house and run away without paying them. Okay, then we have involuntary liens. These are the ones that are put against your home or your property against your will, right? So let's say that you failed to pay your mortgage or you failed to pay your solar loan, they'll put an involuntary lien on your home. Let's say you failed to pay a contractor, they'll put an involuntary lien on your home. You failed to pay some other debts, they can put an involuntary lien on your home. We're gonna talk about specific types of liens in a few minutes. First, we're going to talk about how are liens prioritized, all right, and how do they work. Liens on your home are prioritized according to when they were attached to your deed, not to how much the lien is, okay? So the first person, business, or entity to attach a lien to your home is the first one to get paid when you sell your home. That is the primary lien, right? And then any others are secondary, tertiary, and so forth. Typically, your mortgage is always going to be your primary lien because they're not going to lend on a property unless that they're you know they're the first ones to get paid. The only um, difference to that would be like a second mortgage. If you get a home equity line of credit, they know that they're second in line to the primary mortgage. Okay, um, so let's say you have a mortgage on your home. That's your primary lien. And now you have an involuntary lien for failure to pay child support for failure to pay a contractor, whatever the, the lien is, that will be a secondary or tertiary lien and they will get paid at the, at the sale of your home after the primary uh, lien holder gets paid. So is it possible in this scenario for a secondary or tertiary lien holder to not get paid out of a home sale? Yes, it is, okay? That's why people wanna have the highest position possible in a lien. It is possible that after a home is sold, the mortgage gets paid off and there's not enough money to pay for a secondary or tertiary loan. And then that judgment now follows the homeowner even further. What are the types of liens that can be placed on a property, right? We already talked about the, this types of, right? You have, you know, um, voluntary and involuntary liens, but what are they? Okay, let's go through. We have property tax liens. Every property in America just about has property taxes levied against it. Those property taxes are used to cover basic services, police, fire, sometimes EMS, your public schools, your sewers, whatever your local jurisdiction needs to run, they run with property taxes. If you don't pay your property taxes, then the local authorities will place a property tax lien against your home. Now, remember I talked before about a uh, lien order that you know, your mortgage company is usually the primary lien the government always comes in and says, no, 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 no. Okay, so tax liens, property tax liens and IRS tax liens go right to the top. They're always number one, which is why your mortgage company almost always requires you to pay your taxes through them. This way they can ensure the property taxes are paid and they are not worried about becoming a second tier lien to a property tax lien. Next, we'll talk about judgment liens, right? Judgment liens are recorded against real estate when a court issues a judgment against the property owner, all right? And this doesn't have to be related to property. You could lose a lawsuit 
related to something not related to your property. Let's just say, I mean, it, it could be a car accident. It could be you were sued for something else, okay? And now a judgment has been levied against you and you didn't pay that judgment as court ordered. They can come back and attach that judgment to your home as a judgment lien to be satisfied when you sell your home or they could even come in and foreclose on your home to satisfy the judgment lien. Next, we have IRS liens, right? Uncle Sam can place a lien on your property if you fail to pay your proper, your uh, federal income taxes, okay? That's it. Don't pay your taxes. Uncle Sam will come in and take whatever they can to secure their money. And that includes your house. Child support or alimony liens, all right? Let's just say you owe child support or you owe alimony and you haven't been paying up, okay? There are numerous ways that the, the, the uh, government can try to get child support and alimony from someone that owes it. One of the ways, and we'll discuss it, is through a lien on your property. So sometimes they, they attack your driver's license or they attack other um, forms of of government control to get you to pay for your child support your alimony one of the ways is to attach a lien to your home so that you cannot sell it without paying off those child support or alimony debts a mechanics lien okay it's not a mechanic on your car it's a mechanic on your home when you hire someone and they have to be licensed this can't be just your friend you know your, your uncle joe who was working on the house right it has to be a licensed person when they work on your home and you fail to pay them they can attach a lien to your home, all right? This presents a problem lots of times with uh, homeowners. They get surprised by mechanics liens at closing because it turns out that they hired a company to fix their house, redo their kitchen, do their roof, whatever the case may be. And that contractor that they hired, hired subcontractors, right? And what happens when the contractor does not pay the subcontractors. The subcontractors can levy a mechanics lien against your house. And people find this out at closing. That, well, I paid this contractor years ago. The contractor didn't pay. So when you are selling it, when you're having work done on your home, make sure that you uh, confirm that not only you have paid your contractor, but that the contractor has paid the subcontractors. The last one we're going to talk about today is HOA liens, homeowners associations. This is big here in Virginia. Lots of homes here are in homeowner associations. Good, bad, or ugly. We're not going to talk about that now. But when you um, buy a home in an HOA, you agree to live by their covenants and their rules. Okay. Many of those rules involve how you can, you know, work that you can do in your home, the color of your house, how you maintain your lawn. These are all things that that um, HOAs can do, but they also charge you monthly or annual dues. Some of them are very little, two or $300 a year. Some could be three or four or $500 a month. It all depends upon what the HOA gives you. Sometimes the HOA is responsible for all your lawn care. Sometimes the HOA is just responsible for uh, enforcing its own rules. Sometimes they have a you know, a clubhouse with an exercise room or a pool. It all depends upon your particular HOA. The thing is, if you do not pay the HOA dues that you agreed to when you bought your home or the fines they levy against you for failing to obey their covenants and rules, they can file a lien against your home. And just like all the other liens, that has to be paid off when you sell your home or they can actually go in and foreclose on your home and sell your house from under you in order to recover their fees. Okay, so these are what we're talking about. We talked about, um, you know, property tax liens, judgment liens from a regular court judgment, IRS liens from not paying Uncle Sam, child support or alimony liens, mechanics liens, and HOA liens are the primary liens that attach to homeowners and screw up home sales all the time.